This is to fix the left hand IK of our weapons. So when you're aiming a weapon currently, it's not going to move around or look weird. And we're going to enable it so that when you reload, it looks fine as well. And I'm going to leave all the locations for the sockets that you need and show you how to do it as well. So should be a super simple one to follow, but I'll leave a link to the discord so you can join that if you have any questions at all. And thank you very much for watching. Let's set up left hand IK. So in our sandbox character, we're going to make a new function and this will be called hand IK. And then in here, I'm going to get the in hand actor. And this will just be our weapon actor. So if you're not following the series, don't worry. This is just a weapon actor. So if you have a child actor or a weapon that you've equipped, then we just need to get the actor of that. And then we're going to get component by class. And I want to get the skeletal mesh, but you can also get the static mesh if you're using a static mesh. So we can do static mesh. We need to. And then from there, I'm going to get the socket transform. And this is going to find where the socket that I want is. So we're going to put this into the input because we want to know what socket it is that we want to find. And it's going to tell me whereabouts in world space this is. So RTS world. And then I'm going to do transform to bone space, but I want to get the mesh of this. So I'm going to transform to bone space and then right click this return value and put the location to in position and in rotation. And we want this because this is the left hand. We want it to be relative to hand R. So I want it relative to hand R bone space, but you can, if we want to do both, then we can put in the input name here. So we're inputting which socket we're going to do relative to which other socket we're going to do. And then we want a return node here. So we're going to add a return node. And we're going to put in the out position and the out rotation. Then we're going to have one variable and it's going to be enable IK. And so here we're going to set that. But we only really want to set it on certain things. So I'm just going to shove that into the return node here just so I don't have to add it manually. And then I'm going to drag out enable IK just here. So we'll get a is valid and then get a branch and the true will go to enable IK and the false will go to enable IK, but with no tick. And then we want to get a return node again and just put the enable IK into the output get. So if we're not enabling IK with whatever conditions we set up here in a second, then we're not going to put the left hand up and it's just going to run normal. So first thing that we need to check is if we're doing a traversal action. So we'll get traversal action and we'll get this doing traversal action and we'll make sure that we're not doing one. So not all. And now because we haven't set up any locomotion, then when we do our running, it's going to look weird, but we will set it up later on. So for now, we're just going to get character input state, break it. And we want to make sure that once the aim is true. So we're only going to do hand IK when we want to aim, but we're going to delete this at some point later on in the series. And then we're going to compile and save that. Then if we go to our mesh, go to our sandbox character, we're going to open that up. And in between the layered blend per burn and the output pose, we're going to want a fabric node. This is a full body rig IK here. And so what we want here is our hand IK, which is going to be a variable. So we're going to have two new variables here. We're going to have hand IK and which will be a Boolean. And then we want a transform variable, which will be the left hand 
location. So we're going to put hand IK into the alpha and left hand location into the effector. And then we're going to connect these up, which will create these two extra nodes, local to component and component to local. Set the fabric IK node. And the effector target is going to be hand R. In, com in bone space, not component space. And with no change. And then the solver would be hand L. This is the IK that we're going to change. So hand L. And then upper arm L will be the other one as well. When I can find it. Upper arm L. Precisions one and max iterations 10 will be perfectly fine. And then we'll compile that. Now we need to go to the event graph because we need to set up that these things are being set and can come in. So just before weapon, sorry, just after weapon typing before branch, we're going to make a new function. And this will be set and IK. And what we can do is in the event graph, we can just drag that out and connect it just here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our reference. So inside set hand IK, we're going to get a sandbox character reference. Right click it to make sure that it's valid. And then we're going to get our equipment reference. So BPC equipped items. I'm going to get it. And again, we're going to convert that to a valid get to make sure that that's valid as well. And then from there, we're going to see if the weapon is in hand. So get weapon is in hands. And we're going to do a branch off there. And if the weapon is in hand, then we're going to do from sandbox character, get hand IK or hand IK. And then we're going to get the left hand location variable that we've got and set it. We'll right click it to split. We'll put in the out position and the out rotation, but leave the scale. And then we'll put hand IK at the end and that will be true. On the false here, we need to get hand IK and put that to be false. And then we'll duplicate that again. And on the is not valid, we'll make sure it's also false. Right. So in socket name, which is the socket that we get in. So we should really rename these. So in socket name will be socket to move. And then bone name will be bone to move towards the so back in APP character. We'll do bone to move towards will be hand underscore R. And then the socket, which we'll set up in a second, will be left and IK. So we're going to control C that, and then we'll open up the weapons skeletal mesh. So let's go to our TPS system and go to DT tables, find rifle. And then on this grip, just here, we can right click, add a socket, right click it again to rename it and paste in the left hand IK name just there. And we just need to make sure that we move this to an appropriate place. Right now, it's going to snap onto that. So it looks like we're going to hold it like a pistol. So I can show you that now. Remember to wiggle any weapons that you've got if you're using a data table. 
So there we go. You can see it's pulling towards it here. Like that, which isn't great. If I unequip the weapon, then I'll go back to not having one. And as soon as I equip it, it's there. We're just going to connect this left hand IK up here as well. Let's test it again before we move the IK. There we go. So now when we're running around, it's not holding it. But as soon as I start aiming, it moves the left hand towards the grip. Now that's not obviously where we want it. So we're going to go back to our skeletal mesh and move that around. Have a play with that. Again, every time we make a change, give your weapon a wiggle. You can see it's moved it more towards where we want it. So as we play with that, where it is, probably just about there, I just need to raise it up a little bit. That might be too much. But I will put a good uh, value inside the description for you so you can set it up. We just need to repeat the same process with the gun, the pistol, and the shotgun for the time being. And then we'll have them all sorted. So go to the skeletal mesh, change the left hand, add to grip left hand IK, and put in the values of the location that. I'll put in the description for you. So what you'll notice now is that it works and it's beaut. But if we reload our gun, he's got that lazy reload. And the same for our shotgun. Doesn't want to move his arm. So we need to fix that. We're going to get the mesh back in hand IK in the character sandbox. We're going to Get the anim instance here and then type in slot and we're going to get is slot active and this is the upper body slot and then we're going to get the not ball because all our animations are on the upper body slot so now when we pick up our guns we've got a shotgun reload that does the full reload that we need. Swap to our rifle, reload that again, full reload and pistol as well. Proper reload. So I hope that's useful and have a nice day.